Uh, welcome to Center of Math series on graph theory. Uh, graph theory. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about Cayley graphs. So Cayley graphs are just a way of representing groups in terms of graphs. So a Cayley graph is a pretty intuitive notion. Uh, if we have a group G, uh, so for the group G, we're going to make a kind of graph for the group G. Every member of G will be given a vertex. And then we have a generating set for G. So for the X is in this big X, X or X minus one products of all those generate G. And so we have a bunch of vertices uh, reflecting the elements of G. And our edges are going to be directed edges for any A and G. We have our edge going to AX for any X and uh, this big X. Uh, and these edges will be directed from A to AX and will be colored in a sense, given the color X. So for two A, B uh, elements of G, these A has an edge going from A to AX, B has an edge going from B to BX. These are both given the same color, and they both go A to AX, B to BX. So one example, take the group Z6, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, modulo 6. The operation is addition, modulo 6. Uh, so we write out every element, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it all gets a vertex. And then our generating set is going to be 2, comma, 2 and 3. So 2 is going to be given the color red, 3 the color blue, and they're going to be directed, so adding 3. 5 goes to 5 plus 3, which is 8, modulo 6 is 2. So 5 goes to 3, 2 plus 3 uh, is 5, goes back to 5, uh, and then we can add 2, it goes around. And so this is one example of what a simple Cayley graph might look like. So something that uh, something that falls pretty quickly, uh, a map. So if we have some map between Cayley graphs, some some functions are vertices to vertices, uh, and uh, this map ver preserves incidence. So if two edges or two vertices are instant in our original Cayley graph, they will be instant. Their images will be instant again in the final Cayley graph. It sends edges of the same color to edges of the same color. So if x edges gets sent to y edges. Uh, no, you don't have x edges, it's getting sent to u and y edges. Uh, it preserves direction and then it also sends identity to identity. This course will correspond to a hom homomorphism between the two groups and also a homomorphism between the two groups will correspond to a map of this kind uh, between two graphs. So if we're given such a map F, we can define a homomorphism, H of G equals F of G for any G in our group G. Uh, and so we just want that F of, for any X in our generating set, big X, uh, if F of AX equals F of A, F of X, and F of A, X minus one equals F of A, F minus one X. Since X is a generating set, you know, any F of A, B, B can be broken up into elements of X. And so these will be enough for us to establish that uh, G of H of anything will be a homomorphism. Uh, but this is true just because uh, A goes to AX by edge X. It preserves instance, color, uh, direction. So then A of F of AX must be wherever F of A gets sent to, and then wherever the edge F of X uh, corresponds to uh, in our new graph. So And from this, uh, F of A equals F of AX minus 1 X. And Using this, pulling out the x, we have that's f of a, x minus 1, f of x. And then f of uh, 
f of x, the inverse is in our, in our graph. So then uh, taking the inverse to the other side, we have f of a, x minus 1 equals f of a, f minus 1, x. And so that shows that uh, we can get a homomorphism from such a map. And if we have such a homomorphism, So if we're given a homo homomorphism H, define f of A equals our graph map, the function of the vertices, some A verts, f of A will equal H of A. And for an edge going from A to AX, we have an edge in uh, the image, f of A going to f of A, f of X. And it's, uh, and so this, this graph map, uh, the unit goes to the unit, uh, Edges of color x are sent to edges of color f of x. Directions are preserved. Yeah, and incidents will be preserved too, clearly. Uh, so we're going to say a graph is vertex transitive if we have an homomorphism of the graph saying any vertex to any other given vertex. And this is different than an homomorphism of the group. Here we're just preserving the edge relations, the incidence relations uh, between the verse, verses. So it's just a, it's a bijective function from the graph to itself that preserves the incidence. So we can show that Cayley graphs are very transitive. Uh, we, can, we have an homomorphism, homomorphism that sends A to AN. N is any member of our group G that's represented in this Cayley graph. Uh, so A gets sent to AN. Clearly, this is a bijection between the vertices. Uh, any edge X from A gets sent to an ed edge uh, X from AN. And clearly, this has also a bijection between all the edges. This preserves incidence between the vertices, vertices are instant, get sent to vertices which were instant, so this is an homomorphism. As n goes through uh, the elements of G, we can send our vertex A to any other element we want, and so the Cayley graph is vertex trans. Uh, thanks for watching. Please check out 7 follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and check out the rest of the graph theory playlist.